I have three windows we will monitor. The first is a simulated user querying the broker for a list of applications. The first column is the time of the request, the second is the size of the response in bytes, and the third column is the total time to respond in milliseconds. The second window is a PowerShell script that will pull events from the event log in real time so we can watch the Citrix services in action. The third window is an RDP session to the primary broker who will undergo a network failure to the database, simulating a database outage. In the upper right is a flow diagram showing how the services will respond to each of these changing conditions. As we're querying the broker, the broker is reaching out to the database and then responding to the user in kind. Periodically, the Citrix config synchronizer service will check to ensure that the localhost cache database is in sync with the site database. This is an event that occurs every two minutes during normal operation. To show the network connection failing, I'm going to set up a continuous ping to the database server. Clicking start in Clumsy immediately stops the simulated user from getting their list of applications, and the pings now time out in their requests. The flow diagram shows the severed connections, and I've started a timer to track the actions in real time. The broker has a 20 second timeout, that after which it will respond to requests with what it thinks is the current status. The first timed out request receives a response of working, and then thereafter a response of pending failed will be returned. Around 24 seconds, the broker has noticed the database has failed and has logged its first event, 1201. The connection between the Citrix broker service and the database has been lost. We can continue to see the broker responding to requests with pending failed every 20 seconds. Now, 1 minute 33 seconds into the failure, other Citrix services are now reporting they cannot contact the database. Just shy of two minutes, the broker service has now exceeded its timeout for contacting the database and is in the process of switching to the localhost cache. It stops the primary broker. And then the Citrix high availability service comes active, brokering user requests. In my simulation, the amount of time it took the user to receive a response from the localhost cache is a little faster than the database. The localhost cache response time is 80 to 90 milliseconds where the response time for a request that includes the site database is 90 to 100. This information allows us to visually see the two different modes of operation in action. How long does it take to fall back to the database when connectivity is restored? I'm going to click Stop on Clumsy and restore our network connection and start a timer. We can see the ping responses from the database immediately to verify our connection is back. Almost immediately, all services have noticed that they have connectivity again, including the broker service. However, we do not fall back immediately. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, the broker has switched back to the primary broker, and all services have now been restored.